Use the referral link in the description to G2A.com for all of your Xbox codes, PlayStation codes and video games and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself 3% cash back. Hey guys, welcome to episode 26 of the Tottenham career mode here on FIFA 19. We have two games in three days, first of which in the Premier League against Bournemouth, the second of which the second leg of the Champions League against Bayern Munich. If you missed yesterday's episode, do check it where we played the first leg. I won't spoil the result of that just yet. And after the game against Bayern, we have Everton at home in the Premier League. Our title hopes are not there anymore. They're basically gone. Uh, we, however, do need to win against Bournemouth, as you can see, judging by <coughs> the, uh, the league table. Thankfully, we do play Everton. So if I do lose against Bournemouth, I have the opportunity to beat Everton on the final day and go above them in the league and finish in the top four. We were gunning for the title up until two episodes ago, where unfortunately it's all just kind of fallen apart. Liverpool's run has just continued to go from strength to strength to strength. Draws against Arsenal and Burnley and West Ham. Defeats against Manchester United and Cardiff have, uh, have cost me, really. But it is what it is. We can still finish third at the highest, and we shall try and do that. Obviously, we want to try and finish above Arsenal if we possibly can, let alone in the top four. So first part of that is playing Bournemouth here and winning although I'm going to play a rotated 11 because I want my strongest possible side available for the second leg against Bayern because spoiler incoming the first leg we played yesterday ended in a 4-1 defeat I had as I mentioned in yesterday's episode I had started the game got myself 1-0 in front about 25 minutes in then my game crashed and I had to restart and then I was 2-0 down inside 20 minutes and ended up losing by four goals to one. So it's not necessarily gone according to plan. Maybe it's not written in the stars that the Champions League is to be ours this season. The FA Cup, however, still very much could be as we play Manchester City tomorrow. Or maybe, well, depending on if we beat Bayern, which obviously we probably won't, uh, when the Champions League final is. Probably tomorrow will be the FA Cup final. Of course, the suit will be on, etc., etc. But we should go now and play Bournemouth. And to be fair, the rotation side should be strong enough to beat them. Uh, we'll play Edwards over, over Baker. Rotation side should be strong enough to beat them, although they are a, a capable side, so we can't take too much for granted. But hopefully everything will work out for us, and in the long run, it will pay dividends. We will wait and see. Here goes nothing. Time to take on Bournemouth, and then uh, Bayern Munich probably get battered again, to be fair. Right, Bournemouth starting 11. Asmir Begovic in goal. Rico, Vezo, Ake and Max at the back. 4-4, four, four. Fraser, Cook, Lerma and Limbombe. 4-4-1-1. Four, four, one, one. Jermaine Defoe sat behind Callum Wilson. Sanabria. We, last time we played Bournemouth, we were able to come from behind to win. We went 1-0 down. As far as my memory serves, we came back from 1-0 down to win by two goals to one towards the end of the game. I had much rather a more straightforward victory this time around. If one can be achieved. Although, we might end up going 1-0 down even earlier on today. But no, Lloris comes out to claim. Sanabria. He's waiting for the run. <coughs> Daminson dives in but doesn't get there. It's nicely done by Antonio Sanabria. Left there nicely. Eric Dyer tried to block any potential shot from Lewis Cook. Gets into Jermaine Defoe. Aurier there with a the header. Win that. Well up, Eric. Wilf. Oh, how has he gotten to that? Nathan Ake with the most ridiculous interception there as the ball was on its way past him. Fraser down the line here to Defoe. Nice little one-two. Early cross. And Winks wins the header. Only as far as Max. is Lerma. Nice tackle by Dyer And away again. Zaha. Just going to try and twist. And he's done well. Lamella into De Jong. Through looking for the runner, Marcus Edwards, who is going to get there ahead of the defender. And not score. Good block. Well defended. Sanabria, cross here to Limbombe. Oh, it's a lovely turn. Limbombe! It's a beautiful finish from Limbombe as well. Bournemouth 1, Tottenham... Oh, don't slide on your knees on asphalt, mate. That is really going to hurt. Great finish. Well, we came from 1-0 down against him before. Just going to have to do it again. Winks around the corner to Serge Aurier. In there to Lamella. Aurier's going to go again. Serge Aurier. 
a clever effort, Alan, isn't it? You already know what I tried to do. Drill it hard and low. Again and again and again, it does dink to effort. So I really need to just stop using the low driven. Because it's, it's going to end up costing me games and, in the end, trophies. Edwards into Eric Lamella. Aurier's arriving again. Lamella will drop the shoulder and then look to bend that. Oh, if Limbombe's effort was good, Lamella's was right up there too. Gorgeous finessed, finessed left-footed effort. Basically replicating on the opposite side of the pitch what Limbombe did. Limbombe cut in from the right, sorry, cut in from the left and whipped with his right. And Lamella's cut in from the left, or from the right and whipped with his left. I got myself all confused. Oh, great angle for it. Beautiful bent effort. Right. That's gone well. Let's go and score another. So, into Sanabria. Defoe could be played in again. He's gone out wide to Limbombe. We will keep that in and cross it well. But Aurier does equally well in defensively. Lewis Cook deflected off Davinson Sanchez. Probably would have caused Lloris problems there had that gone in. Or had it gone in unchallenged. Lerma Defoe. His shot can come in unchallenged. No, Davinson Sanchez in the way again. Is Davinson Sanchez starting to turn a corner with regards to his performances? He was pretty decent last time he played, and he's certainly having a good game here against Bournemouth, which has been unheard of for him recently. He's done nothing but make mistakes for, as far as I can remember, casting my mind back this season. We do look like we're going to be going in at half time with a score at 1 1, though, unless Bournemouth builds something here, but they seem to be. Far too concerned about just playing passes about and they are actually getting the ball in towards the area. Maria does well. Maybe we could go on a quick counter-attack and score at the other end. I'll get that quickly to Zaha. We'll look over the top to Edwards, but no, no time to go and get the goal. It'll be 1-1 at half-time. Cook. Cross to Lerma. On the line there to Jermaine Defoe. Now to Max in Bombay. Oh, that's a nice turn. That's a good cross too. Oh, I think Lloris was going to react for a moment. I thought it was going to float all the way in. Thankfully, eventually, he was like, oh, actually, I should probably do something about that ball that's going into the back of the net, shouldn't I? Thanks. Oh, no, let's keep that run going. Good lad. We'll get you in behind. It's not the fastest, but he's got decent dribbling feet. Lovely turn by Frankie de Jong. And there's Eric Dyer. We'll get that to Wilfred. who will hit it early and have it blocked and go out for probably a goal kick because FIFA's FIFA. No, it is a corner. They're making a couple of changes by the looks of things. Frankie de Jong will deliver the ball in. It's a good ball. Aurier was up. It's going to drop here to Edwards. He could have a crack. Ooh. Begovic had to use every single millimetre of his six foot seven frame there to be sure that he got to that. Decent effort from Edwards. But unfortunately, the big Bosnian was in the way. In there to Dyer. Forward to Winks. Oh, given away. Sanabria. Back to Lerma. To Sanabria again. Lovely tackle by Foyt. Brilliant tackle by Foyt. Right, now which, who do I play in? I'm going to go into Wilfred Zaha there. And then we'll cut back. Give it to Edwards who can help it around the corner. Oh, but Winks can't get to it. Win that please, Serge. Oh, it's Davinson Sanchez. Dyer will knock it to Serge. The men around the corner will play the one-two. Eric, cut back. Cross on the left. I see the man three at the back post. Oh, it reaches him. Really unrealistic animation from Eric Dyer. But we will take a 2-1 lead. Thank you very much. Last time we played Bournemouth, we went 1-0 down and came back to win 2-1. Have we just done that again? The ball came over his left shoulder and he swiveled on his right foot to then... Well, you can see it here. He's got his back to... Yeah. That's a FIFA goal. It went against me against West Ham. And he's gone for me here. Lerma down the line to Max. Early cross. Davinson's in the way again. Edwards out to Eric Dyer. <coughs> I want to use Harry Winks first, actually. And get it out wide to the right back, but Winks fouled. He had just one possession back, but I'm quite happy to let the clock tick down for a little bit whilst we regain possession and then lose it again and then win it back again. Weirdly through Harry Winks. Uh, Rose, uh, we'll cut that back inside. Okay, Rico's picked it off, but that should be full time. Yes. A 2 1 win. So ourselves, Arsenal, and Everton are all on 69 points as we head into the final game of the season. Pretty ridiculous end to the year. So, so nail-biting. And there's so much on the line because quite, liter quite literally now, ourselves and Everton are playing for a spot in the Champions League. But first, we have a game in the Champions League. By Munich away. I need... Well, I need four goals because a 3-0 win 
we'll see them go through an away goal. So I need to score at least four times at the Allianz. Well, that's not going to happen, is it? Bayern Munich look very similar to the side that played against us in the first leg. However, there is one change. Leon Goretzka is in at centre mid ahead of James Rodriguez, who, of course, scored a brace in that first leg. Muller getting one, Lewandowski getting the other. They're kind of gifted to him. We shall wait and see what happens in leg number two. I need to be just as ruthless as they were and then avoid conceding like they did. To Eriksen. Neres to get in behind David Alaba. It's David Neres to give us the lead in the game that never was. And he's going to cut back here, look for Gareth Bale, who drops one way and the other, but runs into the defender before he can get the second turn in. And Eriksen tried to intercept that as it was played out and just couldn't quite adjust his feet accordingly. Here's Thomas Muller. Back to Kimmich in support. Leon Goretzka's one hell of a player as well. Tolisso into Lewandowski, out to Muller. Cross could come in. I've nailed him. That's going to be a free kick, isn't it? There we go. Oh, that's not started well. It nearly started well. If Bale had been able to sort his feet out and get past that second defender, we might well have given ourselves a very early 1-0 lead, which would put us well on the way to recovering our situation. As it happens, having Martinez, De Leon Goretzka and Thomas Muller very nearly gets a shot clean on goal. Lloris dives away. We'll stay at 0-0 for now and 4-1 on aggregate for now. Like I say, I need four goals minimum to go through in the Champions League. Help me. Lewandowski, Goretzka. Oh, good footwork. Martinez, Lewandowski, Goretzka. Showing off a little bit now, Bayern. Muller with the cross. Trippier with a head away. Daly will get it under control. We'll poke that there for Son to run onto. Now, I've got them on the counter attack here. Pearl was rather reluctant to get forward. He is on his way forward now, but running out of space. In support is Delhi, but Kimmich has tracked back well. And 20 minutes in, it's still goalless. Lovely ball over the top for Kingsley Coman to run onto. Trippier tried his best, but it fell kindly for Coman. But Jan Vertonghen intercepts and cuts it out. Thomas Partey will come away on the counter. I need again to send Neres in behind on the right-hand side. I think he might be our outlet for the majority of the game, David Neres. Driving into the box, pull off his bail. Bail for one! A quarter of the job done. Pick the ball up, mate. A quarter of the job done. Tottenham won. By Munich, nil. Just three more to go. Well up. I see tackled by Son. Deli will go to Bale. Hopefully Son will keep that run going. Indeed he has. Can I find anyone here? Pull it back, looking for Hume Min. Oh, I actually found David Neres. Son was there, the other side of Neres, waiting to just tuck that home. Chances like that, I need to go in my favour and not against me in that manner. If we're to pull off the miraculous and do an Istanbul equivalent in the semi-final rather than the actual final itself. Goretzka, through the gap to Tolisso. Oh, I murdered him. I mean, it did stop his progress. Javi Martinez to Goretzka, out to Müller. To Kimmich down to Müller again. Pass me. Decent delivery. Trippier there, as he always is at the back post. Javi Martinez to Corentin Tolisso. Don't even think about it. Well held. I've got one in one half. I'm going to need to get three in the next, unless we can sneak a second before the end of this one, but I doubt that's going to happen. But it could do. I see Christian Eriksen in the middle, but I don't feel confident of getting it to him. Son has turned beautifully. Human Son. Manuel Neuer should know better than to try that against him, shouldn't I? And then there's forward to Deli Ali. Back inside to Hummin Son. We need to start the second half on the front foot if we possibly can. Eriksson looking for Bale. Thomas is arriving. Hummin Son. Two 0 and we've almost the full second half to try and score two more. 4-3 on aggregate. Is it going to happen? Is the comeback on? Lewandowski. Oh, it's dirty. That was naughty, that little dink. Here's Javi Martinez back to Talisa. Well blocked by Harry Maguire. Corners come in. James Rodriguez coming on for Goretzka. 
he was the difference that gave them their 2-0 lead in the first leg. Is he going to be the one to retrieve possession or receive, sorry, the impetus in this game? There he is. Muller. Lloris with a save. Tele, take your time. Don't rush it. Don't needlessly give away the ball. We're going to need it at all times in this second half if we're to ensure we get ourselves through to the next round. I say the next round, through to the final of the Champions League. If we do pull it off, it will be probably the most remarkable comeback in my FIFA career mode career, so to speak. Kim Mi Son is playing in behind here. A number of people with me. I'm going to have to turn back and look for support. Luca Hernandez will find Christian Eriksen out of his feet. Looks to bend it. That took a deflection, I'm sure. Corner ball. Half an hour to go. Komen off. Robin on. Eriksen to deliver. Son's underneath it. It's cleared away by Corin Santaliso. David Neres will have the pace to keep that in. Getting slightly nervous now. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was on its way in. I thought that was on its way in. Good header by Thomas. Bale can't get there. Back to Martinez. To Lisso. James. Out to Kimmich. Down the line to Muller. Into James. Maurice made a save at his near post. If only he could have done that in the first leg, eh? Corner comes in from deep. Caps that. He's punched it only. It will drop to Tolisso, who's put it right in the stands. 20 minutes to score two goals. Can it be done? Tolisso. Nice tackle by Tupia. Deli. Son to Bale. It's Neres, in fact. David Neres on the run around the outside. Javi Martinez just can't cope with the pace. We'll try a fake Rabona to... And stand up into the middle. Eriksen could knock this down. It's cleared away by Javi Martinez. Seven minutes to go. Still two goals needed. I don't think it's going to happen, boys. We fought remarkably hard away from home at the Allianz. And have done ourselves proud after an embarrassing show in the first leg. But to come here to the Allianz and win by two goals to nil really restores my confidence in this team. And... Oh, from Harry Maguire not actually reacting to the fact the ball's there and he's given away a foul as well. Yeah, we're out. Muller going off. Someone else coming on. I'm not sure who it will be. It's Serge Gnabry coming on in his place. Harry Maguire wins that header. If only he hadn't given away the free kick in the first place. Mats Hummels battling hard. And if we hadn't missed the penalty at the end of the last game, and if this goes in... Oh, which it won't. Oh, it's time for a corner. If we score now, I will rue that penalty miss more than you could possibly imagine. Jan Vertonghen deflected corner again. Time still ticking away. I need two goals, so I'm definitely out. It's another corner. God. Don't tell me the missed penalty will be the reason we're out. No, it's not. I'm almost relieved. <laughs> So that would have been even more embarrassing if we had gone out to that on away goals. Especially considering I gifted them their fourth and missed the penalty. Equal shots. Equal shots on target. They slightly edged possession. We edged the scoreline, but they slightly edged the aggregate scoreline. It's a 4-3 defeat on aggregate to Bayern Munich. Napoli still yet to play Paris Saint-Germain. They won 2-1 away from home as well. So away wins in both halves of the bracket for the Champions League. We will not be playing in the Champions League final this season. We will, however, be playing in the FA Cup final this season. That most certainly now will be tomorrow. But, but, the small matter of the Premier League Champions League spot race. Three sides on 69 points. One game to go. I've no idea what's going to happen. Everton start Jordan Pickford in goal. Levan Kozawa at right back. Holgate Keane and Jonas Hector at left back. Besic and Pereira. Danilo Pereira holding. Andre Gomez, Gilfi Sigurdsson and Bernard wide left with Cenk Tosun up top. Last time we played Everton, we lost. And I need a win to guarantee that we get Champions League football next year. A draw... Might be enough if Arsenal lose on the final day. But to guarantee our Champions League football for next season, a win is a must here. It is in our own hands. So, 
We know what we've got to do. i just got to go and do it. What I haven't got to do is kick the ball straight at the defender in front of me with David Neres. That's not going to help things at all. Apparently, Gilfie Sigurdsson is the league's top goal scorer right now. Not too sure how he's managed that this year. He's only got 50 goals in his entire career, Gilfie Sigurdsson. And this season, he's gotten like 20 in one year. But regardless, it is what it is. It's FIFA. It's a video game. Hopefully, my team in the video game can get Champions League football for next season in the video game. Here's hoping. Bernard. Gets it into Gilfie. Cross could come in from Gilf here. Nice tackle by Eriksen. Can't keep it in though. Gilfie will deliver it. Uh, should be dealt with by Delhi. Isn't. Somehow it's popped free to Bernard. Here's Danilo Pereira under pressure from David Neres. Hector with the ball towards the back post and Luca Hernandez away. Son, God, loses out to Levan Kazawa there. Oh, Gilfi, that turn. That might be the sort of thing that is why he is top goal scorer in the league. He'll take the corner himself. I almost wish that had gone in if there wasn't so much on the line here. <gasps> Michael Keane from six yards. Open goal over the bar. Out wide here. Andre Gomez inside to Gilfie. Out my slim. Well done, Luca Hernandez. That's why we bought him. Now Thomas. He's better than any other left back we had. Ben Davis went to Manchester United. Danny Rose is probably going to get sold next season as well. Luca Hernandez on the counter here. His cross could find David Neres at the back post if it weren't for the last ditch touch of the defender. That was vital. Bernard running at me now. He's Pretty bloody quick, so we're going to have to be wary of that. Danilo forward to Gilfie. Really hard-fought game, this. Oh, it's going to reach Bernard under the foot of Kieran Trippier. And thankfully, Jan Vertonghen clears that away. Otherwise, that might well have been 1-0 Everton. And if Everton go 1-0 up, I have a horrible feeling that that might be Champions League football out of reach for us next season. We need at least a draw to stand a chance. A win guarantees it. Andre Gomez again. Down the line, Andre Gomez again, Harry Maguire up. Bale brings it down, eventually gets it under control. Can't turn away from Danilo Pereira though. And Everton again. Andre Gomez inside to Gilfie. Cross to Mohamed Besic. Chenks were soon shot blocked by Jan Vertonghen. Everton really piling on the pressure at the end of the half. I'm yet to register a shot apparently, it says in the top left. Oh, and Will Keane may have missed from six yards, but his header from a near post corner goes in. 1-0 Everton at the brink of half-time. Now we really are in trouble. At half-time, Arsenal are winning away against Burnley. Not the most difficult of final games for them. We need two goals in this second half. Otherwise, it will be Europa League football only for us next season. We may well have gone from fighting for the title to missing out on Champions League football in the space of a few weeks. Gilfie through to Danilo Pereira, wide. Here's Luca Hernandez, into Bale. Son is on the run, we use Luca first. Julian Son is still there, Luca inside. There's Deli. is that a foul? Apparently not, says the referee. Good header by Thomas. Deli around the corner to David Neres. Here's Bale. Eriksen. Son driving around the outside. Hume Son. Deli's there. Oh, can't find him. Can he get it to him this time? Yes. Neres through the gap. David Neres misses the target. I can't believe it. How's he missed the target there? EA Sports. It's an FA Cup fixture. Trippier with a lovely Spurs. tackle. They'll be facing Manchester Ericsson City away from home. Into Delhi. Yeah, really out to Son. To this one. Uh, looking, looking for Bale, who was offside. It's dropped kindly for Hyungmin Son. Here's Luca Hernandez. And it's not going to happen, is it? I cannot believe that it's not going to happen. We're going to end up in the Europa League next year. Over the bar from Maguire, roof of the net only. Down low. Through to Chink Tosun. Sigurdsson well saved. 
I've, just as we did against Bayern, a minimal amount of time to score two goals. As if Arsenal do continue to lead Burnley, and Burnley don't score two, and we only draw this, then we will not be finishing in a Champions League position next season. For, ne for next season, Gilfie Eriksson. Oh, it's going to go up for a goal kick as well, isn't it? It's not my day. It's not my day. It's not my season. I better bloody win the FA Cup final tomorrow. Otherwise, I will be devastated. I might well be absolutely spursing everything. This is the spursiest season we've had for ages. In any career mode ever. With three trophies available to us, with just a few episodes to go, we will have one final game at the end of the season to win one of them. We won't qualify for the Champions League next season. It will be Europa League football only for Tottenham Hotspur. Arsenal won 3-0. So a draw wouldn't have been enough. We would have needed a win against Everton on the final day, which, of course, we haven't been able to get. <laughs> that is so very Spursy. It seems I've been taken over by the curse of Tottenham Hotspur. £161.194 million pounds added to the transfer budget. With the FA Cup final to come tomorrow, where the suit will come back out, and we hope to high heaven that we can actually win something this year, and it will be Europa League football only for me next season. Europa League football only. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe that we haven't finished in the top. But we were challenging for the title. And we've ended up fifth. I can't believe it. FA Cup final tomorrow, boys. I'll see you then.